Hello, my name is Arielle Lomax, and this is my Metadata Mini Project 2, Dublin Core for Cataloging Paintings in a Museum Environment. I recently started learning how to use eHive for museum cataloging in another class. So for this project, I wanted to practice using eHive more. According to info.ehive.com, eHive is a web-based collection cataloging system. Quote, our system is used worldwide by hundreds of museums, societies, and private collectors to catalog objects, store images, manage acquisition information, and publish their collections online. eHive can be accessed from any computer or device running a web browser, including PCs, Mac, and mobiles." End quote. Using eHive is simple to understand. So from my front page, I will show you one of my drafts. I have not published them because this is not my owned work. So this is a painting from the Asian Art Museum. So the sections, they have detailed fields, which is an advanced form. Core fields are the most important ones, like the name, the maker, description, uh, place, catalog date. Then there are public fields, acquisition information, administration metadata, conservation, and valuation. And it's also easy to add images. You can go to your file and click Edit Images and upload an image of your painting. So after uh, looking more into eHive and its origins and standards, I found that Vernon Systems, the company that makes eHive, is partnered with Spectrum. According to the eHive website, they follow the standards of Dublin Core. So for my scheme in this project, I have chosen Dublin Core. Uh, the website is used to catalog art and cultural heritage objects. So in the last project, I focused on photographs as cultural heritage objects. For this focus, for this project, however, my focus will be art. And finally, the environment for this project is a museum. For this project, the template comes from the Dublin Core Advanced Generator. Some elements of note from Dublin Core that apply specifically to image cataloging would be date created, medium, so if the, what is the painting or statue or object made of, identifier, this refers to the cataloging number, for example, accession numbers and temporary numbers, provenance, where did the object come from, what is its history, of ownership, um, rights holder, are there any copyright issues with the object, and accrual method, how was it obtained? These are all very important elements for museums and art collections. There are a few differences between eHive and Dublin Core. Although eHive follows the standards of Dublin Core, there were some differences. For example, eHive calls what Dublin Core calls the creator, eHive calls it the maker. Another example is that while eHive has an element for place, Dublin Core includes this in the coverage category. And eHive has a place for object number. Um, as mentioned before, this would be a catalog number or accession number so on and so forth. Dublin Core has this under category called identifier. And also eHive has a measurements 
section to enter measurements of the objects. Dublin Core does not have that, but measurements go under the format section. And finally, eHive has a section for inscriptions, any, ex ex any inscriptions on the piece, whereas Dublin Core does not have that, but you can put them in the description area. And if you look at the interoperability of uh, metadata standards, the, for example, the description section of Dublin Core directly links up to the inscription section of, of uh, like CDWA. And for example, uh, the format section uh, meets up on the crosswalk with the measurement section on CDWA. So although those elements are not there literally, they are still there and there still is interoperability. For this project, I am using collections of Chinese and Japanese paintings from recent acquisitions at the Asian Art Museum. The reason I decided to use these is because that is the medium that I want to work with and the type of objects I want to work with. And I thought this is an excellent opportunity to give it a try. Uh, so as a result of this, I decided not to post them on the eHive because I wasn't clear if, although I was just using it for practice, it would cause confusion um, as to ownership or anything, and I didn't want to mess up anyone's records yet. So, or, well, never want to mess up anyone's records, but, um, so I um, created the uh, Dublin Core entries for these. Okay, so the first set of five paintings are Chinese paintings. So the first one is discussing the Tao in remote mountains. And um, things of note about this one and a lot of um, Asian or uh, foreign, anything in a foreign language, um, you can include the alternative title. So if you see under DC terms alternative, I have the title in Chinese, same meaning. Uh, then let's see the creator the subject mountain landscapes the description so previously i mentioned inscriptions and that there was not a specific inscription section in dublin core but it would go under description so here's a perfect example we have an inscription on the painting that says discussion in the down remote in remote mountains by Yun Feng from the Wu School on a summer day of the year Guihai, 1983. And if you look down to DC format, I could not find a place to put dimensions. And I looked at the um, Dublin Core element guide and finally I found that the dimensions of an object can go into the format section. So that is something of note. And as for the identifiers for each of the objects in this project, they do have their own identifier at the Asian Art Museum. But for this project, I created an identifier as if I were uh, cataloging these items just to uh, get that experience. <clears throat> the next painting is Travelers Among Valleys and Peaks. Significant things about this are the terms. So uh, if you go to terms, it has temporal. Uh, so it was made in approximately the Jin Dynasty or Yuan Dynasty. So any type of eras or time periods like that would go under terms, temporal. Resting Horse Under Trees, Part A of a Pair. So something of note when um, cataloging 
and two things belong to a collection, we can call one A and B. So if you see under DC identifier, I have 2021-13A, and the next one will be 2021-13B. And again, here is that identifier. This is the second part, part B of a pair of paintings. And at the bottom, I rem remember I uh, mentioned provenance and the importance of pro provenance and accrual method. So as you can see, it was a gift, and it was a gift of Ernest and Lita Lee in honor of Richard and Warren Achuka Lee. The next painting, Boating Alone in Autumn. Again, we have that alternative title and we have the inscriptions under the description area. Okay, now for part two. Uh, these are the five Japanese paintings that I used in the Dublin Core Generator. So first is Westlake in Spring. If you see the subject, it says Mountain Landscapes Visual Works. So for uh, Ehive and Dublin Core. Ehive still uses the catalog, the uh, Getty Art and Architecture uh, vocabulary. So I was able to look in that and find the correct terms for these subjects and go by that. The next record, Pine, Bamboo, and Plum, is also part A of a pair. And as you can see in, if you look at DC identifier, it has 2021.2.2A, and the other one will be 0.2.2B. If you look under DC terms, which is two lines down, and it says is part of. So this is part of a pair 2021.2.2B. And here is the other half of that pair. Again, you can see its identifier is 2.2.B. And under DC terms, it is a part of 2.2.A. The next piece is Nachi Waterfall. And again, we have the alternative title under DC terms. And we have the dimensions under the format. And the medium, it is ink and light colors on silk. And one thing about the numbering, I put 2021.2. If you notice, all of the items marked 2021.1 are from the Chinese paintings and 2021.2 are from the Japanese paintings. And these were all acquisitioned at different times. And this is just for me, for my project, to have that experience of um, experimenting with the cataloging. And finally, we have a calligraphy, wake, harmony, and respect. And it has the creator, Sen Soul Shitsu, the 15th. And we have the dimensions, the medium, identifier, language, coverage, rights. And this one is a gift. From this project, I learned a lot of interesting things. For my other projects, I worked with CDWA and VRA Core to get the experience of working with metadata schemes created directly for art and cultural heritage uh, objects. Although those are created for that, Dublin Core is widely used too because it's quite universal and it's used a lot in the museum world and with art objects. So coming back to it was interesting and 
revealed a lot to me about how great and flexible Dublin Core is. Um, so from this, I learned that eHive follows standards of Dublin Core rather than the CDWA or VRA core standards. So I thought this was interesting. And eHive is not the only cataloging software. It's just one of many. But uh, it's interesting to note, I've seen elsewhere too, that um, many institutions use uh, Dublin Core standards. Um, secondly, Dublin Core provides most necessary elements for museum cataloging of art objects. After working with CDWA and VRA and coming back to Dublin Core, I was surprised to find that most of the specific elements that were necessary that I talked about before, like uh, measurements, inscriptions, provenance, acquisition, those are all covered in Dublin Core. And like CDWA and VRA, users can use the art and architectural thesaurus vocabulary with uh, Dublin Core and eHive. Uh, one issue that I had was that there was not a clear and specific place for inscriptions and measurements in Dublin Core. When you look at the crosswalk, inscriptions would be put under description with everything else and measurements would be put under format with everything else like paper or, or digital. Um, so there are places to put it, but it's easier when there's a specific place to put measurements or a specific place to put the things that are written on something. So it's not, it's not horrible and it doesn't make Dublin Core useless or anything. It's just a preference. But other than that, it's very easy to use. And I think that it's great because it can be interoperable uh, through many organizations and improve access and um, open access to all. I really enjoyed this project and this chance to use Dublin Core, especially uh, after having a hands-on experience uh, using a cataloging app. Uh, I think that after having that experience using the cataloging app, then coming back and doing the metadata uh, started helping me make those connections. And it has been a really exciting project. And I hope you enjoyed it too. All of the art objects today, all of the paintings today are from the Asian Art Museum collection, the online collection there from recent acquisitions in the past few years. If you would like to see more of them, then the link is the first one at the top, or you can just go straight to the Asian Art Museum website and uh, search for the collections.